Showboat World original title, The Magnificent Showboats of the Lower Vissel River, Loon 23, Big Planet is a science fiction novel by American writer Jack Vance, first published in 1975. It is the second, standalone novel in a pair of novels the first being Big Planet that share the same setting, a backward, lawless, metal-poor world called Big Planet. The plot structure which involves a series of dramatic presentations, often with humorous consequences, has parallels with Vance's 1965 novel Space Opera. Topic. Plot summary Showboat World follows the farcical adventures of Apollon Zamp, owner of the showboat Meraldra's Enchantment, and his troupe of acrobats, magicians and actors. Zamp is invited by the king of Soivanes to travel up the river Vissel to the distant city of Mornone, there to participate in a contest. A rich prize awaits the showboat captain who stages the most spectacular performance and succeeds in entertaining the king. The mysterious, attractive damsel Blanche Astor accompanies him up the river for her own reasons. Zamp loses his ship through the machinations of his chief rival, Garth Ashgale, captain of the showboat Fearonzel's Golden Conceit. In order to take part in the competition, Zamp is forced to form an unlikely partnership with staid museum ship owner Throdorus Gassoon. Both men attempt to woo the unimpressed damsel Blanche Astor during the perilous journey. Along the way, the travelers encounter cultures and people with weird beliefs and unusual, often violent, customs. At least one scene was influenced by the Royal Nunsuch acting troupe episode in Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, while Showboat World itself has strongly influenced The Wizard of Carees by Mercedes Lackey, Eric Flint and Dave Freer. In addition, there are repeated references to Shakespeare's Macbeth, which is continuously adapted and readapted to the tastes of varying audiences. When they finally arrive at Mornone, damsel Blanche Astor reveals herself to be the rightful ruler, only to have her claim trumped by the unwitting Gassoon, when he appears in a decrepit costume that confers the throne on him. Gassoon marries the reluctantly acquiescent Blanche Astor and richly rewards Zamp for his part in his elevation. Gassoon gives Zamp his boat, having no further use for it, and Zamp leaves with the boat and crew. When the costume falls apart, Gassoon flees with a bag of jewels and is able to catch up with the boat, which he reclaims. Both men are now wealthy. Zamp will build a new showboat while Gassoon will resume his role as proprietor of a museum boat. <laughs> 